Hi Brianna, I enjoyed your video for this week and I also said that if I had to give an entertaining speech it would probably be a wedding toast and since I have an older brother and you said you have twin sisters so I think that's really cool. As you said in your speech you said that you would mostly do like anecdotes and stories from your past and use humor in your wedding speech and topics like that and I think among that you should also include maybe a more in-depth analysis of like the person your sister is marrying. I know you said that you would include them, but maybe include a story that you've experienced with them too and why you think they're right for your sister and things like that. So you're not just addressing one party in the marriage that you're addressing both because there'll be both people for like each person will be at the wedding and they want to hear about each person in the speech, especially if you're the only one giving a wedding toast and they both picked you. So it would be very nice for you to include them. And also with humor, I would be very careful with what kind of humor I use to try to make the audience laugh because everybody has a different humor. So sometimes it might be easier to just stick to stories that make the audience feel connected to the bride and groom rather than trying to use humor and make them laugh. Even though that's a good um, device to use in an entertaining speech, just be careful with how you use it. And But anything else, Everything else that you said sounded great, and I will do the same thing in my own wedding toast. Thank you for your discussion.